Everybody, welcome inside our cozy broadcast booth here at Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort. Mitch Lawrence and the Black Widow, Jeanette Lee. Jeanette, second semifinal, a rack in the books already. Ava Lawrence waiting in the final for the winner of this terrific match between two great champions, Allison Fisher and Kelly Fisher, who obviously a lot of history on tour, but also a great friendship as well. Absolutely. They do a ton of traveling together. They just got back nine times from Asia last year. Lots of tournaments going on there. They room together. They fly together. They're great, great friends, but they're super dangerous as well. Okay, obviously very competitive, so this is going to be a great match to see who will join Ava Lawrence in the finals. Let's get back to the action right now. A good look at the beautiful Delta 13 true triangle. The pink color signifies the contribution of the Delta 13 folks to the fight against breast cancer. 10% of all the proceeds from the sale of this beautiful rack online at WPBA.com will go to that fight. We thank them for their participation. Kelly Fisher at the table, an early 1-0 lead and a quick one. Allison Fisher scratched on the break, ball in hand for Kelly, made quick work of a beautiful rack, and has the break in rack number two. Here we go. Six in the corner. Kelly actually made a nice, solid hit on the one ball as well. Got the cue ball in the middle of the table, and she got an unfortunate kiss with the six ball. At least she didn't scratch. Allison's lips are very pursed right now. She is just waiting for her opportunity. That was beautiful, beautiful safety by Kelly Fisher. Allison has a nice two rail kick. She could actually even go one rail, but it'd be nice if she could go two. Ooh, she hit that a little bit thinner than she wanted to. Left her an open shot. She was looking for a solid hit on the one ball, which would send the one ball back up this way and have the cue ball stay up there, and she hit it very thin. Well, Kelly, I'd like to just keep that foot on the pedal right now. Take as big a lead as quickly as she can over Allison. Well, she ended up straighter on the two ball than she would have liked. I'm not sure that the three ball banks, the seven ball, might be in the way. So now she's looking at drawing the cue ball back. She doesn't like the combination on the three A. You know, being as how she ended up so straight. So now she's either looking at a straight bank in the cross side pocket, let the cue ball come back out to the middle of the table, or she's gonna play safety by sending the three ball up table, putting the cue ball behind the nine. And it's an opening statement by Kelly too, Jeanette. You know, it's just saying, I am already here. I don't need time at the table. I ran the first rack. I'm comfortable with the speed. I played two good safeties here right. already in this match. Outside of Allison's solid break and then unfortunate kiss. She's only had one kick shot. This is her second kick shot. That's all she's had to look at. She's got to hope something good happens after this. No. Oof. Boy, you got a great look at it. Let's take another one. She's looking at coming up up table. This is not, an, not as easy as it looks. Coming back down, she wants to hit the three ball and barely misses it. Watch this. You see how she's coming around? This is work ethic right here. Because the bottom line is she can shoot this four ball, get out to the middle of the table, have any shot on the five, get any shot on the seven. But she's going to make sure that this, she makes this run out as easy as possible by coming over. Now she's going to look at exactly where do I want to get on the seven for the eight. I love watching any great player play the game the way it's supposed to be played at their speed and in their style, and Kelly's no exception to that. You know, it's just when she's playing the way she can really play, it's just fun to watch. Somebody who's a great intuitive player with a lot of trust in her ability and her stroke doesn't overthink anything, told me once that's the death of her game is when she starts thinking too much. There you go. Second rack on the side of the board. 
of Kelly Fisher. Quick fire, 2 nothing over Allison Fisher. Race to seven here at Soaring Eagle. Been a terrific week so far for Allison Fisher. Four match victories, 9-3 over Naomi Williams. Jennifer Beretta down 9-7. Jeanette 9-6. And Jasmine Ocean 9-7. Allison Fisher undefeated into the semis. Kelly Fisher to the table has to be feeling really good about the way she's played early in this semifinal match. Mitch Lawrence and the Black Widow Jeanette Lee here at Soaring Eagle in Michigan. Semifinals of the WPBA Masters. Seven into the corner, another ball into the other corner. Look at that break. Now let's see. If the one ball goes. It looks like it doesn't go. Kelly didn't look too happy. Now she's looking. Can I back cut this one ball in the side pocket? I she say might, yes. I think she's freezing no, she's the cue ball. Safety. That wasn't good enough. This is just too easy for Allison to hit this one ball. And because it's so easy, now it's not a matter of whether or not she hits it. How accurate can she be? So she's made it a lot tougher. If she followed the cue ball a little more and froze that cue ball right on top of the eight ball, it would have been much more difficult. And that was, a, a, I think, a mental error a little bit taking it for granted, just not making sure you absolutely froze that cue ball. Something's flying here. I'm not sure that I agree with what she did. She actually wanted to try to make that one ball, but I would hit it at a, at a speed where even if it doesn't go, it has a chance to either bank in the opposite corner pocket or go three rails into the side pocket. You know that the cue ball is going to stay down there with the one. So to give yourself only one chance to make that ball or you're going to leave her close is, is not really as good as it could be. She can cut this or bank it. Oh, she missed it. And look at the leave. What she's thinking about here is not just cutting the one ball, but what's going to happen afterwards. How is it going to hit the two balls? Is it going to miss? And she missed the ball altogether. She'd like to shoot the two ball in the same corner pocket, so I see a little bit of low left-hand English force the cue ball to the end rail. And the draw in the left English is going to bring it out. Nice. Beautiful. All right, this is the opportunity that Allison's been looking for. Has always had great patience. It's been one of her strengths as far as I'm concerned. She's... She knows that she will probably get another chance. Maybe not, but if she does, she's going to be ready for it. That was a good example. Tough shot. Stepped up. Hit it. Sneaks by the eight. And actually, even after hitting the eight, she ended up perfect on the three ball because she wanted to be straight on this three ball so that she has an easy shot position for the four ball. To stop, came back a couple inches. Perfect. Great layout here for Allison, 11 times the player of the year. Had a great 2011, her fifth U.S. Open title. Big time win over in China, which was her first over there, and I know she really was happy about that. And here a look at the bio information we had seen so, so many times. Chessant in England, now living in the Waxhaw, Charlotte, North Carolina area. And there is nothing this woman has not done. I always marvel, Jeanette, as I know so many people do, that to stay as good and as hungry and to weather the ups and downs of a career and everything that goes with it and still stay as hungry as she has, given all that she's accomplished a Hall of Fame career already. That's right. And now she's a mother. She also has a, a little young Pearson. boy. That's right. That's quite a full-time job just by itself. You would know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> This Beautiful is stroke. Needed. This is great. And you can see the difference in the game, the styles of these two terrific players. Allison's methodical cue ball control. Parks that cue ball in the middle of the table. And a definitive statement there in rack number three. Allison Fisher on the board. Still trailing Kelly by one, but we have a great semifinal in front of us.